Hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast, spiritual teaching, intuitive development, sometimes animal communication for today and tomorrow. Today is Thursday, February the 5th. Tomorrow, Friday, February the 6th, 2015. As always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan. Um, follow me, share, and even support me on patreon.com forward slash intuitive initial. So today the information is another good message, um, one that we hear a lot, um, but to put it in a nutshell, before you ask a question, before you text, post, write, or tweet, you know, before you put some kind of wording dialogue out there, ask yourself simply, what am I trying to get from this? What is my desired intention or outcome? You know, the, the funny old saying that is repeated all over TV and television in the world, you know, do these pants make my butt look big? What is the desired outcome? You might as well just go ahead and say, hey, I got some new pants. Would you just go ahead and agree with me that I look wonderful in them? Because most people do not want the truth or they just want you to get on their side or they're just looking for a fight. You know, so, so ask yourself before you, you know, post something or ask a question, what is my desired outcome? What do I want to get, gain, glean from this statement? I, you know, I watch Facebook um, and, uh, you know, I'll see people just drop these little bombs and I'm like, right there, energetically, I feel it. I'm like, that is someone looking to pick a fight. They just threw something out there to pick a fight. And, you know, when I feel that energy, I just ignore them. You know, when someone sends me an email that says, you know, what the blankety blank are you doing clogging up my news feed with all your videos, um, I literally just delete because that doesn't even, it, that doesn't even deserve a response. If, if you don't want me to clog up your, your feed, then I'm just going to delete you and you'll never see me. So it's that simple. Um, but then there are questions that need and want an, a desired outcome. Um, so just ask yourself before you tweet, especially in Facebook and stuff where you're consciously typing things out at work, emails, what are you trying to gain from your um, your employers, your employees and things like that? When I call Verizon, they'll say, have you gone to our website? And I'll say, listen, I'm not one of those people that is lazy and I have done everything that I can before I called you because I would rather feel good about searching, finding the answers myself than just looking for the easy way out. And most people, you know, just look for the easy way out. Laziness, just they're scared, they're afraid, they've never done it before. My gosh, how good do you feel when you've accomplished something? You know, if you can go online and change your password on an account without asking someone for help. How good does that feel? Or, you know, redirect your, your bank account to a new one or something. So ask before you tweet, post, subscribe, or do all that kind of fun stuff. So moving into the energy of today, the fifth day of the month. It's the Thursday, and we are looking at the garden card. So this card is often about gatherings, parties. This can be like a wedding reception, a graduation reception, um, a birthday party, um, you know, something like that. Or you're, you're stuck being a volunteer at a kid's school where there's a lot of people around you. If we got the child next or something like that, that might echo that. Tarot to go along with the garden card is two of swords, two of wands, two of wands. Quite simply, this is probably you're going to make a decision about whether or not you're going to go to an event. That simple. If the letter popped up somewhere, then the invitation would come in the mail. You need to RSVP a party event of uh, something like that. For tomorrow, the sixth day of February, we are looking at the anchor. Beautiful card. Second to the last card in Lenormand. And this is about being anchored, grounded, not moving. You can see the water's moving and the, the wind is moving, the birds are flying, but the anchor is still holding you in place. And the chariot to go along with it, wow, these are like contrasting cards, chariot. So this, I would say, boy, how do, what is tomorrow's numbers? Tomorrow's 6, 16, oh, okay, there we go. So and tomorrow's 7, so the chariot is echoing that. So the energy is 6, which is the lover's energy, 16, which is the tower. So 
be the grounding part within all the the quick changes and the tower energy tomorrow. Um, you know, there's the reach out to that anchor when you need to stay in place because whatever's going to happen tomorrow, you may that anchor may be ripped up quick and fast. Um, so, boy, it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. That's for sure. Some really powerful energy, and that may be echoing the choices you make today about going to a gathering because it may look like it's a sound fun gathering, but boy, it's, it's going to be crumbling apart. Or, and I'll be honest with you, I almost feel like I, I can almost sense like a big giant um, either national or international gathering tomorrow that there might be a big upset at. Um, so that's an interesting one too that spirit just dropped into my head. So there you go. Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org. Still have February specials up. Walk away or try harder spread or the midsummer love, midsummer magical love spread. But all the spreads I've ever done, I keep them on, on there. They just go back up to a normal price. So check that out. Cosmic Caffeine this Sunday night. I feel like it's going to be a good one. Um, all that information is on my website and my Facebook pages. So namaste. Have a good one. Bye-bye.